Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part 17 of Generation 2 of my Race Riches Legacy Challenge. And if you are returning, welcome back and we are at the park. It is a new skill day. When I traveled, the pop-up did happen. So we're going to start a food sale so that she can get this at a second lot. I asked Angelina to go to a class. Hopefully she, yeah, she's going so she can get hers, but I didn't realize that um, Alice had no fitness skill or level one fitness skill. So she jogged clear mind of that got her, her, uh, her thing done for the new skill days. And you can see if I do this here, um, sit in on a skill class, which I don't know if she'll actually, I, well, maybe it will show it. I don't have to actually convince the customers to buy something here. Just if someone came, I would try. <laughs> but since no one seems to be coming. But so Mixology was like up here. And it's not anymore. So I'm guessing the reason like fitness is here is because the actual underlying one might start with an A as opposed to an F. Because it's somewhat alphabetical, even though things are out of order. Like Mixology was up near the top too so now obviously you could just use cheats to get it to be lower but I find my way of accessing cheats is to use mc command center you do not need that but I'm gonna um cheat sim information skill cheats and or whatever that was and we're gonna set skills to a level and then we're going to choose, I see in this case, it does seem like Mixology might be alphabetical. If this is actually in true, like the name alphabetical, as opposed to some random, <laughs> mostly alphabetical um, Mixology. And then we're going to just cheat it down to five and hope that gets us through the next three that we need to do. And uh, so, and if it doesn't, she'll have to learn the rest again on her own. Uh, that way it's not I'm, I'm like I'm hoping she can get through it in that you know what since well, I'll see if anybody's here but I don't know that I really want to wait I think I'm just gonna end the sale oh well we'll try and see if we can have any luck convincing her to buy something though we don't know her and if it doesn't work then that's it I'm, I'm over I'm done with the sale and, uh, because I really want to have her go out. Because she also has her graduation today. Even though she didn't make. Oh, we got to three. Yay, we did get to three. That's good. So we're going to end the food sale. I'm going to just, um, clear the table. Stick this in our inventory. And have her... Hopefully go for three more if we can get through that before. And I'll just maybe just do it from here. But I'll be back if something's happening. And yay, we got our mixology specialist certificate. So now she can start the career. And I didn't see a notification about the graduation. I don't even see the notification about the graduation. Well, so much for that. I wonder if it'll happen. Sometimes I've had it happen later, like the following week. But usually if I have a birthday on a Friday, they go on the Sunday. So I don't know. I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to wait on it. Uh, so I'm going to have her start her career. I thought we were going to go to graduation tonight, but it doesn't look like it. And we are going to find a job. There it is. And we'll use that certificate. Who's here? That's our mom at the door. We'll use our certificate to get in at level six, I believe. So we may as well put our, oops, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. So we're gonna go on to, no, not culinary. We wanna go into mixologist, the whole point of that. And we spent all that money and we spent extra money because she, I paid for two classes that she didn't end up going to, but they still charged, they didn't count. So we actually paid for 13 classes and to go to 11, as well as like lowering our mixology skill <laughs> to do this. Yes, we will. Okay. 
So she has to mix drinks. And also, we need a bar. I'm pretty sure that we don't have a bar. So now we need to cook three gourmet dishes at a single event, which there's no rush because we have to get to level eight of the career. And then for Master Mixologist, we don't have any of it. Do we have any bar, any, any bar stools in our inventory? Or do we need to make some? Mm, we don't have any bar stools in our inventory, so I'll probably have them make them. But we will buy a um, a bar, a portable bar. That's what I usually tend to buy, and have her make some drinks. And like I said, I guess I guess she's not having her graduation, which means the main thing is she's not going to get her picture, which I kind of like to get. But oh well, whatever. <laughs> All that work. Maybe her sister will get her graduation and her. I don't know if I really care at this point. I don't know if it was worth the effort of having to do all that stuff. I might not even bother trying with her sister. Just because it was a bit disappointing. So, well, you know, well, yeah, you may as well. Why don't you make drinks for everyone? You can make this dragon fruit and then this will also help you get further along. Have you maxed your handiness? Let me take a look. I feel like you have. Yeah, you have. So I have been having her working on the rocket ship all day. So she has got her rocket skill up to seven. Oh, look, we got to level nine. And I did change the lot back to a... Uh... Why don't you invite your mom in? Um, invite in. And then let's rally the troops. And then, and then we will make a... We'll repair this, actually. You're not going to drink that. No, you're not drinking that. Not drinking that. <laughs> not allowed. And then you can make some more drinks. You know what? what? Let's actually come here and craft the bar stool so that we can get... Oh, that's... We only have... I thought they... <laughs> for some reason, from that angle, I thought they were the same. But they're not. They're not. And, uh, yeah, so she's just working through this, making drinks, and doesn't look like there's any graduation, unfortunately, which is a bit of a, I mean, it's bad enough she didn't get valedictorian, she didn't even get her graduation. Uh, yeah, luckily I don't have that happen that often. It could be worse. So we're going to scavenge for parts and rummage and then you're gonna practice because I want you to work on that because you may as well use that from the new skill day to build that okay so we're just making some bar stools and working on our mixology skill which I might just put this out here because it's covered anyways you can't have bar schools stools with that because it's portable Okay, so we're just going to put them at our island. Oh, well, she's still working on it. It looked like she was... Like, because I didn't see anything, I thought she was done. So we're going to craft a second bar stool. I wonder if she could copy-paste it. I'm going to look for it. And... Let me see. Magic? Nope, you can only inferniate it. <laughs> so you have to make that other one. You can't copy paste to it. So they're just doing this. I'll be, oh look, she got to level eight. I'll be back when something else is happening. It is now Monday morning and we have some new members of the household. We have uh, an infant, Ava Crisp, and her older brother who was a young adult, Adam Crisp, who I've, they were born in game and a different save and I purposely did that so that we had a uh, hopefully prospective spouse for Alice here and he's been busy making some chairs. We actually have some changes that I made to their house to accommodate them and also that I just wanted to make. So I will show that now and I did it kind of in two stages. So first I redid the kitchen which I then edited further afterwards but the first part was I put the counters and the islands that Alice got from work out and then I bought more to like you know fill in the spaces because we didn't have that many before 
And I did buy like a longer table and I, we had a good stove in our inventory that we got as a gift, I think. So I put that out and put the other one back in our inventory. We do still have it. And like I said, I've been having Adam make some chairs. So there weren't that many at the time. And I think I bought a, well, I bought some toddler things. While she's an infant, she's actually ready to age up. So we're going to actually have a per party which Alice needs to do for her aspiration anyways, doing some making drinks and dishes at the, um, at social events. So, but I had bought, one of the things I bought was a high chair and then just various other things. And then I sort of had taken a break in playing and then I came back in and I'm like, yeah, not really happy with the kitchen the way it is. And so I actually extended two areas. One I didn't show because I just moved the wall where there's a covered area at the back. I'll show that afterwards because I didn't actually show it. So, but I extended the kitchen area into a covered area so that it still was already covered and I still use the disconnected walls trick. So nothing's bigger. It's still, we're still on the second tier of a tiny home, but the kitchen is sort of a little bit of an alcove, but still showing mostly open. And then I got a round table and by then we had more chairs. So we put the chairs that I had out and um, hopefully that's finished showing by now. I don't know if I had already bought the bar. I think I maybe had bought the bar, but I've now put it, um, assuming it's done, you can see we're back with Alice and little Ava. And you can see I put the bar in the area off of the kitchen and I had put it elsewhere. But what I did do that I didn't show and it didn't actually cost anything is I extended, I moved this whole wall so that this was more sheltered. Like, and I actually did spend a little money because I think I extended this stone here because it is actually covered. If you look up, the roof does go out that far. And I had originally done that because I was going to put the bar out there. I had the bar out there. That's what I, and then I moved it in and I put it here. <laughs> and then when I changed this kitchen area, because I had put counters here. And then when I extended the kitchen over here, which was my second part, then I figured I didn't need the counters there. And the bar was kind of awkward here. So I stuck it over here in the kitchen area. It's still a bit awkward, but you know, it is what it is. And I just prefer the round table, even though really, I think that they have more seats with the other one. Probably they did. They probably had eight, but it just it's a bit tight fit, so it doesn't really work. So back to round, well, not back to, <laughs> back to for me, because I use round tables a lot. <laughs> we never had a round table here. So anyways, that's it <laughs> for the makeover of the house and the changes I made, though I, you would have seen, I would have moved, I moved some stuff upstairs and this is like our very bare toddler room. And I had Adam, which I'll go over his details, um, make the bed and then I using Little Miss Sam's mod that lets you make more things that are base game things. Uh, and then I, I copied it, put the one that was purchased and I sold the crafted one because I do not like to keep the crafted things in the house because then if I remove the mod, which occasionally I have to, the items disappear. So by sort of using it as a, you know, placeholder for making it and then just buying and selling the items, then I don't have to worry about that. Of course, the table and of course, the chairs don't matter. The table is not, obviously, because we don't have the crafted table because I wanted either a longer table or a round table. So anyways, uh, Adam, like I said, he is a young adult. He had just aged up recently himself. And I think he did get valedictorian. I thought he did, but I don't see that here. I really thought he got valedictorian, but it's not showing down at the bottom unless it didn't transfer when I transferred him to this save, which doesn't make a lot of sense because it doesn't even show his, uh, hmm, I'll have to look. <laughs> I still have the original version of them in the save that they were in, but, uh, cause I did think he got it. But anyways, he's a foodie geek and animal enthusiast. And he has collector and essence of flavor as his bonus traits. One was from when he was a teen and then the other one was when I aged him up to a young adult. Yeah, that's actually kind of odd. I would have thought that they would have kept that and it could be that I'm just, I'm missing it. Hmm. I'll have to look into that a little later, but we're going to actually have a birthday party for our little one here because she actually has got all of the 
you know, the gross, the social, and the um, fine motor milestones, and she has most of the firsts, except for that I used a plum bite gemstone charge to keep her needs while she was aging up, so she didn't get, like, the peed-on child caregiver or diaper blowout or slept through the night, like, those types of milestones, because you don't get them unless you, like, let them have their needs tank and stuff like that, so whatever. Um, I didn't do that. So once she's finished with her nap, we're going to have our party, and I'll be back. So it's later. Our birthday has just started. I don't know if she's trying to go to sleep. It looks like she is. <laughs> um... Maybe what we'll do is we'll try and give her a nap because that might be quicker and then we'll blow, have her blow out her candles. Baby care, give Ava a nap. And I did notice that by looking at Alice that where her, you know, graduated with honors is. And he definitely graduated with honors. I do think he was a valedictorian. I'm going to double check in his, in the save where he his original form is before I move him over, but it seems like he lost that when he transferred over, so I'll probably just cheat and give it back to him because but I'll double check which of the two it was. Uh, I did have Adam invite his parents over and his aunt, who is Celia Cecilia Kang, though I guess I probably did their last name should be Chris or whatever, but I did that was just sort of she asked to move in and then I ended up making her part of the family. So the original Cecilia King and this save is gone and uh, this is the version and they're all global superstars. So I used MC control. Okay, she's awake, so she shouldn't be tired anymore. That was quicker than having her go to sleep and like sleep there because it can take them like an hour for them to go to sleep. So why don't you help her blow out her candles since you're her um, big brother. So we're going to help blow out candles, little Ava. And I guess we need to get the gifts out so she can open her, up her gifts. Because as a toddler, she can open up her gifts. And I was not focusing at all on the fact that I wanted her to make uh, gourmet meals. And she's on the right one. So we want to make something. Oh, we don't have prep veggies? Really? Oh my goodness, that's not very good. That's going to make it harder to make gourmet meals. Because we don't have prepped. Why don't we not have prepped anything? Hmm, that is very unfortunate. I did not know that. So we're going to make some almond, almond macarons because it's faster to do those. And then after that, we'll prep some prep veggies. I wonder if they've gone bad is maybe what the problem is. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> let me get down here and get a picture. <laughs> She's so cute. Look at her looking at her, her brother. He's so cute. There. Of course, I've been playing them with him for a while. <laughs> and she is no longer wiggly. We'll make her inquisitive. Uh, since she aged up and I'll have to give her a makeover. Not that. Uh, there. Not right now. <laughs> I might change her outfit. Like, just change her. Because if that's her party outfit, I don't really want her in there. Let's see. Um, okay, I have to be on her and change outfit. That's her every day. Is this her party? Well, just change it into that. Because she definitely needs to be out of that outfit. And, uh, well, she's in a diaper in that one, too. Seriously, what is it with this game? <laughs> And diapers. Okay, you're going to go into that. And hopefully it's not too cold for you. Because that at least has bottoms and not just diapers. That's a little bit silly. Okay, so she's going to get a gift. And what is this? Oh, you started that and you didn't finish it. Okay, can you finish that? Resume those almond macarons. We're not going to get this done at all. We're going to have to have another party. I guess we're going to, but I'd rather not have to wait till. Uh, though she has to get to level 8, and I think she's obviously nowhere near that. But let's let little Ava open her presents. I think Alice has the presents in her inventory when I was clearing stuff out. I thought I noticed it. Yeah, I did. So we're going to put that there. And you can come and open birthday presents with everybody but Alice, because Alice is busy cooking. <laughs> we need cooking to be done. Well, you're about to go play in there. 
And is that even ours? I don't think it is. I think someone keeps bringing... Someone brought it. I did think of selling it. <laughs> and... I will probably end up... Let me see. He's not famous. So you can inv you can introduce yourself to some of the Sims here. You don't even have... Right, you gotta get your thingy. Because that doesn't transfer. And I purposely invited the sages because I wanted him to meet them before we go to a magic hq but if anybody's famous you're not famous so we can do an introduction okay you got those done okay you can collect those prepped ingredients so you've got one you got a sculpture marbles game and a wisp which i think is i can't remember for sure what that is that is what I thought it was. It's uh, for the Void Critters, which obviously she can't use right now. So why don't you come and add some presents? And then we'll put it back away. And now that you pick that up, you're going to do some more gourmet food. Now we actually can do... Um, we'll do some vegetable tempura. And I guess I should prep some more seafood, maybe? And just to get it done while we're doing stuff. And I'll put these into the fridge. If the game lets me. Oh, we have chess. Which she, of course, has to go to. Can I put it in the fridge now? Yeah. I just want her to get through at least the these three. I'll have another party for the, the drinks. So the drinks might not be hard. Might not be that hard. Ah, that's what I should have bought. I totally forgot. I should have bought a dream home decorator tent because that's a really fast way. Okay, so you got that. So you've got two done. And then you're going to do another gourmet meal. And this time you can make... Why don't you make that... So we can get to three. And when are you supposed to work? Because it said you were working three three hours. That we can easily... We should be able to get through quite easily. And have you introduced yourself? You did to Father Winter, not to Simon. So you can do a friendly introduction there. See, we can't do there because she... I don't want to do that. So what I ended up doing because... Um, Adam's family are global superstars. So I used MC Control to have them introduce themselves to our girls, Alice and Angelina, so that they didn't have that whole attempt introduction because I didn't feel like doing that. And I realized that since I learned that that's a thing with MC Control that I can do it, because obviously you can mimic that by going to the other household and bringing them over and doing the introduction before I move them in, but I didn't really want to spend that much time away from my household. So this was my way of essentially doing the same thing. So I'm going to have to do the same thing with... Alice and Angelina's family because some of them have fame and uh, Adam had fame but he kept losing it I'm on Aiden <laughs> um, and so he currently has fame points but he has no fame I'll probably have him working on that but I I didn't have him work on anything like that as a teen or the few days he was a young adult in the other save, which mainly I kept him there because I wanted him to go to his graduation because he did. He actually went to his graduation. But yeah, anyways, and I also didn't want to bring in an infant into the house set. <laughs> I wanted to be able to age her up pretty much immediately like we've done. But we've done that and we're actually going to leave this right here. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!